Good girl, not a fail. Hope you know that. <laughs> so you are the real fool. You are, you the, are the real, real idiot. Eh? <laughs> eh? Don't worry. I'm, I'm about, about to, to take, take over. over. I'm quite expensive. I'm, I'm not, not for everyone. everyone. Which, which is, is normal. normal. <laughs> Madam. Please leave my video. Leave my video. <laughs> leave my video. <laughs> And don't forget, this video has no filter because I'm, I'm so, so beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Welcome to the season finale, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys have requested, I have Mommy of Lagos. Yes. Mommy of Lagos in the building. This is your braids, eh? Mad thing. I love it. It's very pretty. Thank you. Can I tell the people what you did today? It took you how many hours <laughs> to get here? Three hours. Three, five. You were supposed to be here for one o'clock. No, two. We agreed to. Okay, so 2 p.m. Two. And then what time did you I got to at five. Five. Yeah, you five. had me waiting for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should be kneeling there flying your arms, but you're a mommy of Lagos. So, <laughs> how do you get anything done with your nails? Like, I love it, and it's so easy for me because I'm so used to it. Do you ever like enjoy yourself, like bump your hands? No, I'm so used to it, so I can't even tap with all those long nails. So, how do you wipe your ass? No, that's why I do it. This is the way you do it. That's yes. going to be another sound. This is the way you do it. I love it. But risky, you were such. An enigma. I mean, I remember the very first time I watched a video of you and I was like, the confidence. You used to say something that was very famous. Insults has not killed anybody. That's it. It hasn't killed anybody. Mm -hmm. So the more you say, the more I keep making money is as simple as Ava saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stop the series you started last year? Because you were teaching mm. we ladies like, you know, I was every day, every time I saw that Bobby Skitty were online. Yes. Lamba is about to be dropped. <laughs> I will have my notes, literally taking notes to yeah. learn from, you know, the wealth at your feet, Bob mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you stopped doing it. Why? Well, I felt like, let me just take a break. And, and then you I'll never resume. resume. Soon. Why? Because you're making too much money. <laughs> eh? I'm resuming back soon. So what 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 has been keeping you away from giving us our daily? Because you know that we look to you all the all the baby so girls. So many lessons, mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. So what is okay. the what is what is the biggest lesson you've learned so far in the entire time of the emergence of Bob Risky? Just keep doing yourself. Mm. People will adjust. People will definitely yes. adjust. Just mm. keep being you. Mm. How do you cope with all the the love? Because you walk into a place and I see how people are like. Wow, Bob Risky. It's actually overwhelming, you know. Sometimes I feel like people will be like, what is this? Who is this? But most times people love me. They show me support. They fight for me. They're always there. And when I ask questions, why are you always there? Why do you love me? All they tell me is, you have an amazing heart. Really? You give mm. people, yes. Like you help people... You have a sweetheart. You're a nice person. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I'll continue to be nice to people. You know, before you came, uh, my head producer was talking about how she was in uni with you. Uh, you probably don't know her, but she remembers how you walk into a salon and pay for everybody's nails. Yes. Like you literally like pay pay people's way, mm -hmm. you know, transports and all yes. of that. So you've always been fabulous. Literally. Exactly. Because, I've, because to me, I love human. Mm. So I feel like, just let's just love ourselves. Mm. It makes the world sweeter, better for everybody. I love the way you speak. You are sending me right now. I'm literally <laughs> trying to hold myself back to sitting in this chair. So most times I just feel like, okay, why are we always fighting? Mm. Why are we always having any issues? If we are in a, in a house like this and everybody is happy, sharing, it's it's more interesting mm. than you keeping malice, mm. you fighting. Mm. Doesn't make no sense. Do you sense. think that do you think that you're misunderstood? Because you're always fighting people though. Yes, I'm, mis <laughs> I'm misunderstood when you want to take advantage of my niceness. Mm. Or when you think I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. That's a, that's when I fight back. Mm. Do you, yes. Does that happen to you a lot? Do you think people get close to you just because of what they can get? Because, you know, of course they ask people around, oh, she's a nice person. She's gonna give a lot of things. Mm. And people come and take advantage of that. Mm. Well, I give, but when you're acting like, okay, you're actually over smart. Mm -hmm. That's when i like, mm -mm, don't mm -hmm. bring this to me. Mm. And you really like calm down before you used to like go at people online. Yes. Like I'll, I'll just see you 
laughing, fight, like just blasting people online. Anybody that crosses you, yes. but risky. And that's when you give us the hottest lamba mm. ever. Because <laughs> from the things you say, people then put it on Snapchat. It's, the, it's, the, it's those words that they are ready to speak mm. before you know it's on TikTok. And everybody starts using it. Mm. How do you feel about the fact that everybody's using your voice on TikTok? I love it. I love it because many girls love me. Mm-hmm. And many girls feel like, we are going to do what Sarah Babuski is doing. We are going to see what Sarah Babuski is saying. We are ready to do anything. So it's actually interesting mm. that many girls, ah, many girls are learning from me. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> No, but you are actually right because, and then your following is not even here alone. Yeah, people follow you from all around the world. Everywhere, you're really huge. Actually, my Snapchat, mm. I have one point two million subscribers. Wow. Yes, that's incredible. Yes, and then uh, how many views do you averagely get on? Okay, view? let me say, if I'm having a party, I used to have like a million views, wow. but if there's no much events, I have like five hundred. 600. People it depends watching. on how much, you, like, how much more you post. Would you ever do a reality TV show? I want to, like... Like, what's wrong with all the producers I, out I there? I want to. You're going to make so much money. I think you will. I yes. think that people follow you for Because imagine on Snapchat, I have 500,000 in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. People enjoy watching me. Mm-hmm. They, they enjoy watching what I do. Mostly my slaying game and the way I talk to my workers. Hmm. Because people find me so funny. They find me... Like everything, they just be seeing Barbersky. Mm. Just be watching Barbersky. Mm. So I like how you interact with your workers. That's the funniest part for me. Every time you're always like, clean the TV. Oh, there's the TV in the kitchen. You're not cooking very well. Clean this something very well. Clean. Why are you cleaning like your hand is not clean? And then the fact that you are always cooking. Yes. And then when I see these bloody nails as you're washing the chicken, I'm like, what the hell is Bob Risky with long nails trying to wash chicken? And like, guys, this is how you keep your man. Yes. Some of you girls, you might think you're all that, but you don't know how to cook. I've, don't worry. I don't know how to cook. I can be very honest. I need to come and learn from you. Maybe that's what will make you're me. Free. So when, when can I come and sign up? Anytime. I love that. So you're definitely open to doing a reality TV show. Oh, yeah, sure. Because mm. I know people watch me. Do you understand? Mm. People watch everything. But I, people just want to watch my daily lifestyle. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. How I get up from the bird. You know, slay. Talk Let's to talk people. about your slay game, though. Girl, you be slaying. Yeah. That's a part of the business. So half the time, you have these collaborations with these clothing stores, yes, right? Yes, Because I know that you tag some of them in everything. A lot of them. And they sell out when you wear all the Of course, service. because, you know, I have... Okay, so looking at my Instagram, um, like the people that follows me more, I've got more females, mm. like 85% females. Mm. And maybe like 15 or 14% guys. You're the mommy of Lagos Yes, yeah, so whenever I wear any outfits or any hair, many girls are like, okay, if this guy looks so beautiful and barbersky, I think I need to get one for myself too. Mm. G get. Mm. So that's why a um, lot of this female art um, outfits sell more. Mm. Yes. And then, okay, clearly. Um, and then your dance videos. Yes. Are you I, always drunk I when used, you twerk? <laughs> I even stopped twerking because I'm out of weight. But when I was but I think very it's, I think it's nice. I think you're just fuller. Yes. I don't think it's like you're you're not fat. I'm not fat. But no. then you obviously had your your ass done. Yes, yes, yes. So why don't why don't you still twerk for us? Oh, well, I do once in a while though. It used to be funny. Those videos used to be funny. I'll just <laughs> turn on my Instagram. I'll just see Pabuski. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking. Shaking. And I'm like, okay, what exactly is going on now? Your world is very interesting, I must say. Um, do you ever get bored? No. Because I feel like Barbrisky is an entertainment. Just me alone, my lifestyle is enough to watch. And even me alone, when I do some things, I'm like, is this really me doing this? Mm. Because I hardly get bored. I hardly get worried over anything. Mm. Yes. I think that's one thing I like about myself. Mm. I don't get worried over anything. No matter how bad it is. I try to make myself happy mm. because at the end of the day, if you still sit back and look at it, you feel like it doesn't even make any sense. You're thinking. You're being sad. Because mm-hmm. you're being sad. Mm. G gets. So I try to make myself happy every time. Of the day. 
Yes. Yes. And I, I noticed you spend lots of time by yourself. Yes. Because, because your friend, your friendship history hasn't been quite... Everybody you get close to at some point you fall out with. Yes. Why? Because, you know, I love so much. I love people so much. Like I said earlier, I, I, I'm a loyalist. I'm so nice to people. And each time I look at these people... I don't get the same energy I give them. Mm. I want to tell people that, see, I love this person so much. I give this person everything. So people tell me, hey, look, just overlook it. It's not everybody you love will give you the same energy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why can't they give me the same energy? Mm -hmm. If I'm giving you 100% energy, you can't give me the same 100% energy. Okay, even if you cannot give me the 100% energy, you can give me like 80. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, okay, I'm also... Like, from your own end, I'm loved. Mm. Not just my own end. Mm. So I feel like sometimes people just want just want you. They're being selfish. Mm. Just want you, do for them. And when it's their turn to do for you, they disappear. Yeah, no, they, yeah. And because I'm a very emotional person, he hurts me. He hurts you. Yes. Mm. And that's why I'm always Lashing fighting. Out. Like, Is there no, one no. person that you're falling out with that you regret falling out with? Whew. Okay, I think Tonto. Yes. Do you miss that friendship? I miss it so much. Aww. I miss it so much because um, Tonto is like my sister. Was that hard for you to admit? It was even hard because after we fell out two, three months, I started missing her because I miss the fact that, you know, she's always um, there for me. Mm -hmm. You know, she told me, don't wear this outfit. Don't wear that one. Bobby, this doesn't look nice on you. Mm. Bobby. So and she was your friend when people were like, and and the Who reason a more reason why I I missed that friendship was when no, before I became so famous, she was the only person that was there. Mm, that's what I wanted to yes. say. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only person that was there. She does not judge. She does not care. She go all out. G get. So why did you guys fall out so publicly? And why didn't you just pick up your phone and be like, don't do let's not do this to each other. Let's just make up. Okay, well. You know, so I feel like the reason why that friendship could not last. Well, it actually lasted because mm -hmm. it's five years. You were friends for five yes, years? Yes, we talked for five years. Wow. Yes. It was, it, 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 it was five years friendship. And the reason why it was, it, it actually, like, it was five years was because... I was I was being the one patient. Me at Tonto are two impatient people. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. strong-headed people. We're two impatient people. Mm -hmm. She's not patient. I'm not patient. Mm. But most times, the reason why I'm always being calm is okay. She's my elder sister, mm -hmm. and she's actually older than me. Mm. So I'm always being okay. I think mm. let me just keep calming down. So while I was coming down, the friendship was stretching mm. one year, mm. two years, two mm. years. But at the same time, you know. Yes, they a, fell out yeah. at the end of the day because the main truth is we are two all temper people. Mm. I'm very all temper. Like I get angry easily. Mm. Tonto also get angry easily. Are you working on it though? Yes, I am. Okay. Trust me. That's why you can see less fights on the media now. Mm. I feel like it's because you're dating someone seriously now. <laughs> I feel like when people are in relationships, that's how they become. I they become. I swear to God, because you'd you be see, like, I'm a shrink. Just pick up the phone now. If I see you write any nonsense there, just forget about me. And ah, you, so you love the person you're with I cannot forget now. about you. Hey. Let me pay you money. Me that used to advise this girl that I call her money. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so most times I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just be calm. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not calm, I won't get money. Mm -hmm. To get, mm -hmm. I won't get money. So I'm like, okay. But... Of course, probably we're not no more anymore. Mm. The old publicity comes back again. I mean, it came out recently. There's a girl course. I got to know because you were fighting her. Yes, papaya. <laughs> papaya. And then what, what did she do to you? It's a long story. And you're like, if you see her, she doesn't even wear slippers. I mean, the, the, the video became famous on TikTok exactly. for shoes. I was like, is this an insult? Is it joking? Is it plain? Because I now start seeing people doing so many yes. clips of it. Yes. Like, that girl, she doesn't know uh, wear shoes. Yes. She doesn't know the classless. So yes. Look at this, is real gold. This is the, I was, oh my <laughs> God, you guys. So this new man is keeping you... Trust me, it's a two years relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's obvious. 
some well, not 100% calm, mm-hmm. or once in a while, I'm like, okay, let me just give this people that. Let me remind them of Bobrisky. Mm. That I'm not all that calm, calm, calm. Mm. Because of there's somebody there using money to hold me down. That's how I'm looking all beautiful, mm. you know. There are definitely admirers that you probably have on and off social media. Yes. And, you know, some of them are genuinely just want to be your friend. And mm-hmm. some of them actually also want to yeah. be your partner. So how do you sort... Are you open to being friends with people who just want to be your friend? Or are you... No, weird? because I don't have friends to start with. Because, like I said, I'm only scared... Because I don't know how to pretend to people. Mm. I'm this person that when I'm friends with you, I'm going to be so loyal to you and I'm going to be open-minded. Mm. Gets. So most times, when people want to be my friend, I'm going to ask myself one question. Why is this person wanting to be my friend? Is there any reason? Mm. Does he or she wants to cloud chase? Was Papaya your friend? No. You guys have never known each other? No. So why are you guys at each other's throats? Um... It's just that, you know when... Okay, so let me tell you. Let me just brief on Papaya's issue. Mm-hmm. So Papaya is someone that I used to hear, like, people post blogs, post about her a lot. Mm-hmm. So one time she came to my Snapchat. Oh, hi, sis. Good afternoon. Sorry, please. I lost my accounts on Snap. Can you help me repost it? How much will you charge? And I'm like, oh, we are both in the industry together. Mm-hmm. In this whole influencer thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to charge you anything. So I did the posting for her for free. And she added me back. Mm-hmm. And of course, she watched my snaps. She commented, oh, you look good. We also met at two different occasions. One at my Saiba's event opening. Mm-hmm. And one at one other friend's over event like mm-hmm. that. So I met that two times. Mm-hmm. So, but I see as someone that wants to be my friend. Mm-hmm. To Cloud Chase. Really? She might yes. have genuinely liked you. No. What I said is because... Okay, so there was one time here... That she did a, a video of me. Mm-hmm. So she now forgot to... Cl- you know how you post videos on Snapchat? Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody says something about you. And you forgot to clean... That part of... That part of that name. So she posted the video on her Snap. So the people that knows the girl reached out to me and said, why is this girl gossiping about you to us? I thought you helped her repost that video. You're cool with her. I want you the video for her. Oh, you're a good girl. Oh, guys, why are you guys hating on this girl? Seen her twice, she seems very nice. Mm. So, what's up with this old eight and ranting about her? Knowing that this girl has not saying bad things about me. Mm. Do you understand? Because mm. there's a middle man, a middle guy that was involved. That was involved. Okay. And she does not want me to be close to the guy for her personal reasons. I don't want to call the guy's name. So, you no know, envy, gossip came in. And I'm maybe, like, no. but did she think that you might take her man? I can't even. She can't even date what. She can't. I'm mommy of Lagos. Don't forget. It's okay. She can't even date who I'm close to. No. Mm-hmm. She's not enough. Nah. She can't sit with us at all. Ooh! <laughs> I love at it. All. I love your energy. No, but we talked about influencing. Yeah. I know that you also, um, you know, do a lot of work with musicians. Yeah. You know, you're always like promoting your music, promoting music, yeah. and doing all of that. Do you ever find? the need to chase clout to get the desired results sometimes. Yes, sometimes. I, f- I feel like... So you put a false narrative like this person is my boyfriend when the person is not. Oh, no. No, I'm talking like uh, there have been cases where there are musicians that I, I thought you were dating one musician but it turns out you're only just promoting the person's music. Okay. Um, And you guys were always acting like you guys were dating. Okay, yes, yeah, sometimes that sometimes it's like that mm. because... They feel like that's the best way to sell the the, the markets. Do they pay you well? Of to... course, I charge them a lot of money. That's good. Yeah, because if you if you want to, if you want me to do this, then you have to pay for it to make mm. it look as if that's something. Because even the ones I'm dating, I have I have so so much explain to give. Mm. Like oh, the no. guy in Banana Island, what happened? Oh, he's still there. But you just said on TV that you on you, you don't we don't want the main guy to hear that you're this or that yeah, guy. No, you don't get. No, you know, we have let me explain. He hasn't put the ring yet now. Hey! So you cannot restrict me to be with one, one person. Hmm. Yes. So you're dating people? Of course not, yes. Money or rich yo, billionaire. <laughs> oh yeah, G cash. <laughs> Chopping and spending exactly. G, cash. There is no mercy for money. Makawai. Uh, <laughs> Risky is killing me this, this afternoon. Um, there I was thinking, um, you know, because I know you used to talk about this boyfriend in Banana Island all the yes, time. Yes, Adi. 
His name is Ade. Uh, that's, that's, is that his real name? Yeah, that's his real name. But he's not on social media? No. But he, because he's actually an old man, so... He's an old man? Yes. So he doesn't care if you talk about him on social media? He doesn't even know. We have so many Ades now. We have... One million a days. True. <laughs> so you but do you not know. feel like people sometimes might follow you, just trail you to just find out, you know, no. who this has, has there, that ever happened to you before? There's a way we do our thing that nobody even gets to see us. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's interesting. So, obviously. so what do you think is the, is like share tips on how to keep a man? Because clearly you have them swarming around you. So <laughs> what, what, what do you do? Like, how do you keep this man wanting for more? Um... Number one, you have to sew your lips. That's the morning. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Don't don't call names. Don't mention names. Do what you got to do, Loki. And you know, just imagine you meet a guy and the guy's actually a married man. Mm. And you guys are dating. And trust me, in a few months, no gossip yards. Nobody has called him and say, ah, I saw you with one person. Nobody has said anything about you guys. Trust me. It would, and you're being nice to the person at the same time, he will want to see you every time mm. because you don't talk so much. You don't have friends. So I feel for those girls that they'll meet one man today, they'll tell all their clicks, oh, I met one guy today. Before you know, do you know either or your, your other friends was to fuck the same guy? Mm. You would, you know. Mm. And do you know even I feel like you've guy, done a, a session on this online. Yes, before you've you know. You've taught this, this lesson this before. I've taught those girls this lesson that learn how to keep your mouth shut. Short. If anybody asks you why, who bought you that car, who bought you that house, it's the Lord's doing. It's the Lord's doing. It's, it's marvelous doing. in his eyes. <laughs> love so, it. So you just have to be more private because this made love when you're more private. Mm. Yes. The kind of men me I look out for are the ones that can pay bills. What kind of men are those? CEOs. Are they CEOs? CEOs, like politicians. Would you date fraud stars? Because you know, like, street guys are also very popular. I'm not popular. going to lie. In mm. as much as you're dropping money, me, I'm, I can date you. If you're <laughs> money. Even if you're a snake. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In as much as you're dropping money, <laughs> you're paying That's my really... bills. Yeah, <laughs> so you always talk about getting married and, and being on your period and that kills me all the time when you're in the supermarket buying tampons say, guys I have menstrual pain my menstrual pain <laughs> oh, guys I want to get married this year are you ever going to get married? well for now I don't know all the guys you're dating nobody's put husband potential? <laughs> no the money that's all that's all money is there <laughs> you the know that of... TikTok thing where they say what's the sort of a problem? <laughs> money, money. <laughs> <laughs> So would you ever get to a point where you think you've made enough money right now and mm-hmm. you want to date for love? Yes. Will you date a broke guy then? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. You're impossible. It's not going to be possible. No matter broke how guys need I'm love looking too. for, no matter how I'm looking for love or stress relationship, I can't settle for a broke sneaker because I feel like, what's the point? I can't be with you where you can love. Okay, Okay, yes, I can be richer than you. No bad. But what I'm saying is, you have to be useful to me. You have to be able to buy me hair. Buy me some things. It can't be useless. It's not possible. I can't. It's not possible. Mm. So, I can't date a broker. As okay, but a guy who might not necessarily have as much as you do, but, you know, he's doing okay. Okay, yes, of so, course. He's doing okay. Mm-hmm. And he's not the stranger type. Mm. The little is making... Because, Leah, let's talk about those stingy men. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no. Isn't it? It's almost like it makes my skin crawl when someone is stingy. I don't... Does that I happen don't, to you? Why would you be... Yes. I hate that I even have to... I don't even want to ask. Why am I, Why? Why you got to ask? I don't need to... Exactly. Hmm. Don't tell you, oh, did you ask me? I don't have to ask you. If you're dating... <sighs> bros, you say you like me. Hmm. For me to look this good, it's money. Mm-hmm. I paid for surgery. It's not free. Mm-hmm. I paid for my hair. I made my nails. Mm. I bought this. I bought that. If I wasn't looking all this beautiful, you wouldn't tell me you like me. Mm. So obviously, you got to spend on me. Mm. So do you? How do you have that conversation with them? Do you have like an upkeep that they give to you monthly, or is it, it like because you keep you, mentioning hair? It depends, hair is important to you. It depends you. on what you because I love hair. I'm an hair freak. Okay, so how how many hair do you have? So many. I can't even count. I lost count because I love 
her. I love. I feel like hair is part of things that makes women look pretty. So do you do you keep them or do you keep just buying? I just keep buying and I keep in the house. So you can sometimes have, you I give you... away on my Snapchat, mm. and sometimes I just said, you know what, I'm just leaving them. No I love buying hairs. So do you have like up to a hundred wigs? I have more than. I have up to seven hundred. Wigs. Yes. Plenty. Wow. So it's a criteria for any man that has to date you has to be able to spend money buying hair. Yeah, buy me hair. Mm-hmm. Buy me nice shoes. Mm-hmm. Buy me. Just give me money. Just be what you want. I'll tell you. Just give me. I'll buy what I want. Mm-hmm. Just give it to me. I notice you like jewelry as well. I love. Ju- oh my god, that's one of the. That's. I think that's one, my, number one on the list. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how much do you spend on jewelry, roughly? So I love jewelry a lot. Mm-hmm. Because, so how much do you roughly spend on jewelry? Okay, so it actually depends. Uh, like what I'm wearing now, this is like 3.5 million mm. because it's a Kuban chain. Mm. And this is like 1.8 million, the two earrings. Mm. This is like 1.5 million. Mm. No, this is like 1.8 million. Mm. So What about the ring? That the ring, ring is one, massive. Yes, it's big. This one is about eight fifty thousand. How many carats? How many carats? Eighteen carats. Everything they're all eighteen carats. Okay. So at the paint, so I'm going to a party. Um, I buy sets to mm. look very attractive. Gang, 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 mm-hmm. gang, gang. Mm. You can buy for eight million. You can buy for six million. It depends on the the gram. Mm-hmm. Yes, it, mm. the total gram. Mm. Yes, but um, maybe like a casual look like this. Mm-hmm. I just buy like okay, let me just wear it on daily. Yeah, on daily yeah, things basis, that you can yeah. wear on daily basis. That's... So let's say, um, in six months, I can spend nothing less than forty million to buy jewelry. Just jewelry, or thirty million just to buy jewelry. And another six months, you buy another one. Another you get one, bored. yes, girl. So what if I'm tired of this this design? I just swap mm. and had money to eat and get. Oh, so you one. can give it back to them, add some money because, to it, and yeah, get because something. It's, it's, because it's real gold. It's real gold. So they can you just know, swap and get. Mm. The new designs. So what are the other things you like? I know you like clothing. I love hair. Like... I love clothes. Mm-hmm. I love makeup. Really? So you buy makeup? Yeah. Do you I know how makeup. to do your own makeup? Of course. Okay. Yes. Okay. But you like other makeup artists working on you, right? Yeah, because, you know, dead when I was coming out, I love to do my makeup. Mm. But now you have so many activities, you're tired. You feel like, oh, let me just do my makeup. Mm. But yeah. how do you build a relationship of trust with your makeup artist? Because you know how, obviously, everyone, not everyone, but people sometimes can be very mischievous. Yes. And they see you there. You know what mm, I mean? They yes. see you be, yes, with, yes. without all that makeup. So, so how do you trust The truth them? is I'm actually very lucky that ever since I've been working with my makeup artists, are uh, are good people. Mm. You know when you're good, sometimes you meet good people. Mm. Yes. When you're good. God will push good people to you. Mm. It's when you're bad, God will push bad people to you. Mm. Yes, and they will mm. show you shaggy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they will show you shaggy. <laughs> so, wow. so yeah. when it comes to my makeup, mm. um, artists that I've used in the past mm. and the one I'm using currently, they're good people. Mm. You know, because I've seen a lot of bloggers send them DMs. We want to see Barbuskis bare face. How much are you getting charge us? Like two they want to pay them? They want to pay them. They're like, do you want to face for us? How much? And they'll be like, this person is actually paying daily makeup. So you wear makeup every day? Every day to do. Your makeup like, artist does your makeup every day? Every day. I was still, I, I, was, I was telling my makeup artist like a few days ago. I'm like, listen to me. Now you're getting fat. Your breasts are getting fuller. The, thanks to Bobrisky. <laughs> wow, well, put on stuff and say it's, it's Bobrisky. Because he charged me 35000 every day for makeup. And trust me, that's in a month, that's a lot of money. Close to one point something million mm. in a month. What about your hairstylist? How much do they charge you? Okay, daily? so and I'm very extra. Sometimes I can fly my hairstylist from UK. Mm. I can fly from different countries. Mm-hmm. But most times I use I use the one in Nigeria. So like mm. only Lagos too. Mm. When I have events, I want to show them pay, pay them the mommy of Lagos. Mommy of Lagos. I fly now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then you, you fly them in, they do your hair every day? No, obviously, yes. We have um, an agreement that me fly you in and pay you this amount of money. Mm. Do they stay makeup. at yours or do you put them in a hotel? At hotel, hotel. Okay. Yeah. That's incredible. Do you have a driver? Yes, or you drive yourself? Okay. No, um, most times I drive myself, mm. but I have a driver. Does your driver know who you're dating? No. So what Whenever are you going I'm going to, to see my brother, I drive myself. <laughs> Everybody knows I have a Range Rover right now. Everybody knows I have a Vela. So whenever I'm going out, I just enter my Vela. I just cruise. Nobody know what I'm doing. All my phones off notification location. Mm. 
Mm. You can't you can't even trace me to any man's house. Mm. I'm out. And I love night work a lot. Because that's where the parties happen. Really? In Lagos. City of sins. The city of sin in city Lagos. City of sin in Lagos. That is at night. What are the things that happen in Lagos at night? A lot of things happen at night. Like in what? Lagos, a lot of things. I'm in bed watching Netflix. <laughs> what What do you people do at night? <laughs> They parties. hook up with different people. People who go to orgy parties. There's orgy parties in Lagos. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to invite me to the next one? Yeah, I want to come. I want to come. I want to watch. I've never been to anyone in Lagos. Oh, it's so nice. Really? Yes. Do people wear masks? No. You see people there? You see, go to life sex parties. There's life sex parties like in Lagos. Life sex parties, You're yes. lying. Publicity. There's lots. One in Lekki serve. Like yes. that one, they just keep having sex. Yeah, they have sex. They'll, you, they'll tell you, like, they'll just come and tell you, okay, these are private people. And you, you go and pick up the girls you want. So you can't video, there's no phone. No, no you can't right? can video. Okay. Just watch them do things. Yes. Well, men and women or just... No, like a girl and a girl, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, like strip clubs. Like strip clubs, yes. Okay, so Chris, so I know. They so have, so they, and then... no, they also have a live sex sections. In, in can, the strip club? Yeah, so you can watch them do live on the table. Book, 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 book. So two girls... It can be two girls, it can be, it can be two girls and a guy. It depends on what you want. You request for it. But Risky, you're really living the life in this I same am Lagos. Living. So. <laughs> I said, Lagos is a land of sins. Don't worry. Bringing you back to being one of the pace setters when it comes to just living authentically and just not caring what anybody has yeah. to do. You have inspired so many people to start, you know, either cross-dressing yeah. or either just being fabulous online. Exactly. How does that make you feel knowing that there's lots of people who, you know, watched you do it and thought to themselves, if Bob Risky can be this bold, I'm going to be bold. Well, it's a plus for me because I feel like I I brought out your own energy. Mm. You know? But majority of them are ingrates. <laughs> <laughs> All of them they are ingrates. But what do you mean? <laughs> because you learned from me, mm-hmm. and you still want to insult your mother. Somebody that you learned from. It doesn't make uh, any sense. Okay, I understand that. So you she think get, that it come for you just to get relevant? To get relevant. Let's talk time. about James Brown. Okay. I like him. I love him too. So why can't you guys just be like... Do you know Do you know why I actually love James Brown? Because I love James Brown because he's just... He living. makes me laugh, he makes I swear. me laugh. Uh, Did I, you see that he's I used dance to, step? I, I, swear, I used to <laughs> tell, I used to tell Tonto then, uh, mm-hmm. to see your, see your best friend. She'd be like, if I slap you, Bobby. I'm like, because like, we used to laugh when we see his videos mm-hmm. because we love him. The fact that he does not actually care to he live his life, it's cool. Mm. But where I'm going to have a problem with you is you lend the strengths. This does um oh I don't care thing from someone. Mm-hmm. Why don't you pay be, your dues? Like mm-hmm. okay, I think this person, I I because when when he had that first issue about they did not cut me mm-hmm. and all that, mm-hmm. I invited him. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. I'm like you know, then he, I think then he said he has an HIV. That was what that was where actually caught my attention. Mm-hmm. That I have HIV. This this this, and I said okay come, and I'm like you're very outspoken. And the fact that you can even come out in public and say you have HIV is something that it's it's huge courage. Mm. Because many people walk around with this shit and they don't even say anything. Mm. That was back then. Mm. I'm like, I'm really impressed. And from there, I give him some money. And I'm like, if you want anything, just let me know. Let me know. Yeah. But it was so it got to a point that it was making a mistake. Mm. Probably it's not me because it's still a kid. Whatsoever I do. He do the same thing. But maybe because he was in awe of you. Okay. That doesn't necessarily have to mean a, See, a bad okay, thing. Okay, now, let me let me give an example. Yes. Derily. I was about to ask that. Yes. If, look if at, you say look that. At, let me give it. Derily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I came, when Derily was out there, I was nobody. Mm. Nobody even know who is Barbersky. Even mm. me, I don't know if it's even be Barbersky. Mm. Ever since the one I started knowing who is Derily is. Mm. But I'm like, if I'm coming out there, I don't want to be in competition with Derele mm. because Derele has his own brand mm. let me think of how I want to build my own brand mm. because I don't want people to start comparing myself and Derele together mm. do you get mm. so I sat down I'm like because people are funny mm. even if the two parties don't want to compare themselves 
the public wants to compare both of you. Mm-hmm. Like, who is richer? Who is finer? Who is more this? Mm. She gets. So I came on the platform with a different type of opposite. Energy. Energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't wear what they really wears. Mm-hmm. I don't do what he does. Mm. And we are very cool. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. I don't copy anything he's doing. I'm not friends with any of his circle. Do you understand? Mm. So, I'm like, that way, I can be myself. Mm. So, anybody who is coming else and wants to be Bob Risky, well, there's nothing else you want to copy again because mm-hmm. you, we already have the really, we already have Bob Risky. So, the only way you pick is that either I want to become the really, I want to become Bob Risky. True. So, you becoming Bob Risky is not an issue. Mm-hmm. But don't, don't, see, I feel like don't copy everything I do. Mm. Try and be your own self. Mm. When you be your own self, trust me, you'll make more money than Bob Risky. Mm. G gets. Yeah. When you be your own self, I don't want to be talking about you because I know talking about rice, British, is this, is that. But I also want to be Bob Risky. I don't want to be Kylie Jenner. Mm-hmm. I want to be Bob Risky, mm-hmm. a brand on my own. Mm. So when you're coming out, don't compare yourself to anybody. Mm. Don't compete with nobody. Mm. Just try and be your own brand. Mm. And trust me, your own brand might even sell more than the so-called popular brands that mm-hmm. was there before you came. Mm. G gets. Mm. So everything I do, James Brown do the same thing. Everything I do, when I was doing that, okay, I stopped that lecture thing because of James Brown. Was he doing the same thing? Exactly. Okay. I stopped it. Mm. Because whenever I talk about anything, he comes and says the same thing. Mm. And he actually he rejects me. Yeah, but you said it first and you'll always be the one who said it first. But the reason yes, why I say I that mm-hmm. is because you know how when the two of you, if the two of you unite, yeah. it would do so much more for that community yes. because already there's a lot of struggle in mm-hmm. that department with people not knowing where they're fitting, knowing yes. if people like them. And if they see two people who are bad bitches at the end of their own game, mm-hmm. not, compete, not, not competing or fighting, but literally saying, I recognize you, you're a bad bitch, yes. you know, but mm-hmm. this is my lane. Yes. They will always... You are the most famous sound yes. on TikTok. Yes. Nobody comes close to that. No one's taking that tr- that yes. um, crown from you anytime soon. Okay. But you also got to be the kind of person who would also be a, an inspiration, mm-hmm. a leader. And mm-hmm. if people are coming behind you, it's okay to welcome them and not feel like, oh, yes, you're doing everything okay I'm to, doing. It's okay to welcome them. But you know, me, I've always... See, like I said, nobody even asked me to... Um, to call him in the, in the first place. True. I called him myself mm. because I love his energy. Mm. I love him so much. Mm. But where I've got issues is I'm not really cool at people copying my stuff mm. because I feel like the more you keep copying my step, you can keep me one day because mm. you want to be me. Mm. You're obsessed with me. Mm. Do you understand? You can love me, you can like me, mm. but don't be obsessed with me. Mm. So you think he's obsessed with you? I, yeah, yeah. You know, it's very interesting to see that you're unfazed by a lot of things and I like that about you. Yeah. Please let your lights continue to shine. A lot of people are entertained just by your mere existence and I think that's a power that I don't even think you understand that you have. People are depressed. and Because on my, on the comments of on Talker Moments, they're like, we want Bob Risky, we want Bob Risky, we want Bob Risky, you know, bring Bob Risky on. Because you're funny. People use your sound. People, you yeah. know, sort of like the things that you do. And you're very honest. I like the fact that with you is money for hand, back for ground. Exactly. Don't come and tell me you love me and you will not come and break my heart. Before you break my heart, I will break your heart. Well, there's a famous video that you did about that. You say you love me, <laughs> which is in love we're going to be. It's something funny. How do you get the inspiration to do all these things? It's just come slow. To is it I, real I've life never, experiences? Exactly, because I've never sat down and start thinking, well, let me start cracking what I'm going to say on my next video. No. I just say it because it's, you just flow. Mm. And that's where you say the genuine like the genuine of the video of me saying things mm. is so smooth. So is it like experiences you've been through that shaped you to? Well, I don't want no some are some are things that I don't want to experience. So <laughs> let me just say it out now before you before you come and show me the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> literally leave a man if he stops giving you money. Sorry, you leave a man if he stops. I will leave him sharp, sharp. I will block him. In fact, what the, what am I doing with you? You cannot spend money on me. It's as simple as ABC. I look... See, if you know you are... You, okay, so let me give an example. Most of all these guys actually love flashy girls, mm. shapey girls, non-girls, 
most of these guys love when they can brag to the or with or among their among their friends that see that girl na me dey knock mm. so if you want to brag among your friends say na you dey knock me your pockets can be tucked mm. i'm not asking you not to lick your mouth though why are you licking your mouth? Lick the pocket. I mean, too. one nice machine. Mm-hmm. Your account don't they empty, don't they red. <laughs> why do you want to empty the guy's account? I want to empty it. Why can't you just spend the money? Why do you want to... If it's empty, then there'll be no more. There'll be nothing else to spend. If it's... I can't marry a lazy guy. Mm. How, if you're not lazy, how will your money finish? Hmm, true. Exactly. Mm. The more you walk, the more money comes. I agree. The more I look pretty, the more mm. you want to walk out of money to come. Mm. So, what's mm. there? Incredible. Well done, Bob Risky. Well done on the Bob Risky brand and all the crazy things you say. We're definitely looking forward to all the more TikToks and all mm-hmm. the more crazy. And please resume school late because uh, many of your girls, we need we need updates. You're, you're my class captain. Uh-huh. Yes, so let me know when captain. it's happening so I can rally the girls and say, school is in session, guys. <laughs> Mommy of Lagos, don't drop updates. Lamba, don't drop. Exactly. But thank you so much for coming. I hope you had fun on the podcast. Oh, sure. Will you do this again? Of course, I can't wait. I can't wait to have you back again. Hopefully then, maybe then you'll be ready to tell me who you're dating or if you've oh, added one no, more person. No person. So no, you've never no. told anybody who your no, boyfriend is? No, no, no. Not even when I was, even when I was friends with my best friend, told her she does not even know nobody. Because like, I feel like that part is not everything you tell people. Mm. That's, I can be friends to you, but some things you don't know about me, mm. which is very good. It's not everything, because at the end of the day, if I tell you everything, to me, I'll, I'll feel like I'm unsafe. Mm. We can actually fight tomorrow. Mm. I want to use it against me. Mm. Yes, you can tell me, oh, we went out one day. I paid for it. And so, it's not a big deal. Mm. I've always I've wondered you... something that I've, wanted, I've always wanted to ask you. Mm. when you, Because you travel a lot. When you get to travel, do you travel as Bob Risky or do you travel as Idris? Okay, so when I travel, I travel as Bob Risky. Okay. Do yeah. people are people shocked? Like when you get to like they used the to show me entry. Pepe. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. So example, the one I the last time I went to Dubai, I was sent back to Nigeria. But because Dubai is like Habibi, I you know what it is. They are God. very like. I was sent back to Nigeria because I got there. Okay, so I've been to Dubai so many times, mm. but that one was their prayer. I think one of their special day. It happens to be the on Friday. Mm. And they go to Mercs. They do, they're always so extra on that day. So when I got there, at first we're like, oh, camera did not accept my face. <laughs> <laughs> I got to the camera. Did you wear makeup? <laughs> I was on, you know me now. I want to rock first class. I want to talk. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm, I'm going to Dubai. Your mommy is in first class everywhere. They are fun. So do you think they already knew you were coming? No. Okay. They don't know. Mm-hmm. So I got to the immigration where you're going to take your picture, do everything. So they saw my passports. They look at my face. Okay. Well, it might be their own face. They say, face the camera. And I face the camera. Boom. It rejects. Boom. <laughs> it rejects. <laughs> they said, are you sure you're the same person? I said, yes. The man looked at me. Are you Idris? You're a Muslim? I said, yes. Look at my passport. It's confused. I said, okay, hold on. So we went to one of the private Yeah, because they always have to pull you to a pri- yeah. private office. So we sat down there and they were like, are you trans? Or are you... I'm like, well, I used to be a guy. I said, oh, now I know why. So they were like, on the more day, if it's not their, like their very religious period that, that mm-hmm. Friday, they'll like, just allow me in. They don't have any... But because today is more like they are, they're always very, um, they devote more time on the Fridays because mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's the Muslim, they go to mocks on Jumar, we Jumats. Mm-hmm. So they were like, no, they can't allow me in. How did that make you feel? That's crazy. I felt so bad. They said, number one, you have to clean your makeup. Number two, you have to cut your nails. Oh, I'm like, in this public, I'll be taking out my nails. This public, I'll be taking out all those things. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Don't it's, let me just go and lodge in. We have a hotel in Dubai, in the Dubai Mall. Mm-hmm. There's a hotel there, so I lodge in the uh, um, in the hotel. So I removed my nails, cleaned my makeup, did all that, and they still didn't then let I you in. Then I went the second day, and they allowed me in. 
Oh, so you didn't go back to Lagos? No, 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 no. I was just in the territory of okay. the, that's Dubai Mall, the okay. airport. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, I thought you meant they sent you back to Lagos. They sent me, they told me to go back to Lagos mm. before. So I played on with one man. The man else said, I should go and just clean So up did this. you get your nails done in Dubai then? So I took it out. I asked to buy it out, took it out. Because I got a hotel mm. inside the Dubai... Um, um, the airport mall the airport, or airport hotel or whatever yes. so but when you got into town you got your nails back and so you I got it. my nails back I did everything the only places that I don't have issues like I can go this way with Bobrisky is UK America Canada they're so sweet the way you get to the airport they even address you as mom like welcome mom mm. do you understand they're so mm. nice wow. I feel like all this Muslim country mm. that's comes come I mean, <laughs> well, they have their rules, and if yes. you're gonna be there, if you're gonna go there, you have to you almost have to follow like their rules. follow yes. their rules. But yes. I mean, at least they they still let you in. Yes, the next I went day. in at the end yeah. of the day. Interesting. That's very interesting because I've always wondered if you traveled as you know. No, 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 no. But there was one that I, I in Lagos that I wanted to fly from out of Lagos. I do like I'm not going to fly in Lagos. In Lagos, I wanted to. We're going to the same Dubai to me and my best friend Tonto, and Tonto change it for them at the airport. To say, we will not fly. They no born you were. But Brisk is going to fly in this place. Ah, I said, don't, don't, don't let us scream through my hair. So that's why I said I mixed her because she, you no, know, she's someone that fights for me. Mm. So why don't you send her flowers and try and be content with her? Well, I mean, you maybe this broadcast can yeah, help. Yeah, you can send her a message. I love her. Aww. I miss her. And uh, I wish we could just come back again because she's actually a mother, a sister, everything. But you know, I was just need to yeah, work on the, our but anger. But I also have to say this to you because I'm all about accountability. Yes. Um. You know, I I wasn't in your relationship with her, but you know, in order to make peace, in as much as she might watch this and feel like, oh, it's nice that he misses me, you gotta reach out to her because you know you're the one who wants to make peace, and you both owe each other a conversation that is none of our business exactly, online. Exactly. Because you guys ended up sharing things that we didn't need to know about, exactly. and if you guys can forgive yourselves, yeah. you know, it would be nice to actually see the two of you make up and kiss and make up. And I'm going to ask for my check because Talking Moments did that shit. <laughs> On that other news, uh, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. It's been real. With the mommy of Lagos, Bobriski. Um, I never get tired of your videos. You are quite an enigma. It's interesting to see what you've done with, you know, what was in your hands. And mm. I'm super duper proud of you. Well done. Thank you. You're so fun, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. The next time you see me, I've got a little surprise for you. A goodbye. And make sure that you watch on YouTube. And of course, you can stream on all streaming platforms available. <laughs> <laughs>